Hi everyone, my name is Judy Smith and I'm so excited about being here with you today. My friend Patty and I have a blog page about reading and cooking with children. And what that play page is about is about great books to read to kids and then recipes that go along with the books. So the book I want to highlight today is a, one of my favorites. It's this one right here. It is called The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. And the story is perfect for children like preschoolers through kindergarten. And it's about this lovely little mouse who finds this huge strawberry and tries to keep it away from the, the hungry bear. Great story. So obviously it's about strawberries and we're approaching springtime and strawberry season. So we have a couple of strawberry recipes for you. The first one is so super easy. It has two ingredients and it is absolutely delicious. It only requires a bowl, an eight ounce package of cream cheese at room temperature, and two jars of marshmallow cream. You could use just one large jar, but two jars of the small works out very well. All you do is put that together in a bowl, mix it all up, and it comes out to be the best strawberry dip you will ever have had. It is wonderful. So it's perfect for this time of year. So it's easy to make. Children can help you by helping you mix up, putting the ingredients in the bowl and helping you mix it up. And of course, they love to help you clean the strawberries. So they can be a big help in this process. And trust me, they will love it. It is absolutely delicious. The second recipe I want to show you today are, is a very easy recipe for uh, strawberry muffins. And that you use fresh strawberries. So you begin, the first thing you have to do is to make a topping that goes on the muffins. The topping consists of sliced almonds, which you put in egg white, which you beat up and then some sugar, and then you bake it in the oven, and it becomes this gray, crunchy topping that we're gonna put on top of the muffins right before we bake them. The, actually, the muffin mix is a very simple recipe. It includes shortening and butter, which you cream together, a fourth of a cup of each, a cup of sugar, cream that all up together, you add a couple of eggs and some vanilla. Then you put together some dry ingredients, which is, consists of flour, baking soda, baking powder, and some salt. And you add that alternately to the, to the butter mixture with some buttermilk. And your mixture, your butter, it comes out looking just like this, which is a great mix, but the beautiful part is you add about a cup and a half or so of fresh strawberries to the muffin mix. You take those, put them all in, stir them in, and you can see it just makes a beautiful, because those fresh berries just do the trick. Once those are all mixed in with in the muffin mix, then you align, it makes about a dozen and a half muffins. So you line your muffin tins, and the best way is to very simply use a scoop, which I have here, or you could use like a, a fourth of a cup or a third of a cup measure to dip them in, because you want them to be all uniform. So you just go like this, dip it in, there it goes. And then the next thing you do, after you get them all filled up, is to take that crumbly topping that you made ahead of time and sprinkle on the top. Simple as that. And this goes into the oven, a 350 degree, degree oven, for about 20 minutes. And what comes out are these beautiful, beautiful muffins with that crunchy topping on top. So, I hope you enjoyed the idea on these two recipes. To get the recipes for these, you can go to our blog page, which is a teacherinanoven.com, and just put in the search agent and put in the title of the book, which is The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. And that book will come up and the recipes are down below for you to enjoy. We also have available our own book called Reading and Cooking with Children, which you can find on the blog page. I hope you enjoyed this book and these great recipes. Thank you for today, and remember, stay safe.